In 2011, the United States consumed 199,937,239 barrels of beer. To put this into perspective, take your average pint ordered at a bar. To fill a barrel, you'd have to dump your pint in exactly 248 times. This means that, as a grand total in 2011, the U.S. consumed 49,584,435,272 pints of beer, enough to fill up about 9,391 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Needless to say, we drink a lot of beer. Especially since 6,315,663 of those barrels were consumed in Michigan, ranking it 8th in the United States for most beer consumption per capita. Now, it used to be that most beer was produced by one of three major brewers, Anheuser-Busch, Miller, or Coors. Recently, Miller and Coors merged together to form Miller Coors. Uh, apparently their name-making abilities are about as good as their beer-making abilities. Either way, now there are only two, and you'll find these companies respectively in St. Louis, Missouri, and Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The question arises, if we're taking in all this beer, where is our money going? Because it's definitely not staying here. But no fear, Michiganders. A growing trend is on the rise as smaller microbreweries spring up all across Michigan. In fact, a recent study shows Michigan has the fifth highest amount of breweries in the United States. These little guys are on the rise, too. In 2005, microbreweries only equated for about 2.5% of the overall beer market. But as of 2011, that number has more than doubled to 5.6%. That means that more than 1 out of 20 people buying beer in the U.S. make the choice to buy a beer with a bit more personality. Speaking of personality, we wanted to see what actually makes a microbrewery a microbrewery, so we found one in Grand Rapids in a state of expanding their production called the Hideout Brewing Company. brewer, Wab, was more than willing to sit down with us and explain the differences in breweries, as well as where the hideout is planning to go from here. The hideout brewing company started seven years ago. Uh, it was formerly called the Hair of the Frog Brewing Company. Like any, any new business, it, it, it was slow at first, but with good beers, you build up a better reputation, and uh, this place is really more a word-of-mouth place. But basically what, what the... the uh, what our intention as, as Michigan brewers and microbrewers, craft beer brewers, um, we're really trying to get our products out there so that people know that there's something different than just urine inducing in a can, you know, burp inducing just this flat, like dull beer. I mean, there's so much more flavor to ours and, and the fact that we play with different flavors and different additives and, um, you know, adjuncts and things like that, uh, it, it gives people something more than just your typical pissy beer. I'm drinking the, uh, the uh, Leap Day Brown, the Bob Brewed on Leap Day. Actually, I believe that was the first day you guys were here filming. Was, this is the beer that was brewed that day. So. Oh, really? Yeah. It's already out on the tap? Yeah. Well, this was brewed on the 29th of March. Yeah. Okay. So it's Leap Day Brown. But, uh, how would you describe the taste? Um, well, it's uh, a fine line between a brown and a porter. It mixes a little bit of the profiles, um, but it's fabulous beer. Bob just doesn't quite know how to classify it, right? But that's the same thing. Fair enough. Uh, uh, delicious. That's how I describe it. It's a good way. Um, to compare ourselves to something really, really large, I mean, even in, this, even in the city, comparing us to Founders, or in the state, comparing us to Bells, or, you know, nationally, uh, Miller, you know, places like that that are just gigantic. They're they're always going to be ahead of us in in the competitive sense, but we're we're slowly inching away and taking a little bit out of their market every year, and and slowly building up the craft brewing scene again in in Michigan, in the U.S., and even worldwide. Um, how would you describe yours? Um, it's 
an IPA, so it's dry on the finish. It just seems corrupt in the way that people get the most refreshing and really dry. Okay. Can I get a lot of that hoppy flavor? Yep. Gotcha. Cool. The Michigan brewing community is is just that. It's um it's amazing. You know, if if I have a question for somebody, um, either locally or statewide, I don't hesitate to call or send an email. Um, you know, say locally if I need a bag of grain last minute or something, and uh, I, you know, I can call down to my buddies at Founders and say, "Hey, have you got this?" I, you know, I'll I'll gladly pay you for it or trade or if there's anything I can do to help. Um, we we share a lot of those things. We share a lot of ideas. Why choose a craft beer to escape? the monotony of the same thing over and over again. Um, you know, you go to a lot of dive bars or you go to a lot of maybe more family restaurants and those beers are basically going to be Miller Coors Bud, Bud Light, Miller Light. Uh, you know, some places have stretched it out to Lining Kugels um, and, and even, even more so like Bell's Oberon. And to see when people do that in restaurants, to see when people say, you know, I'll have an Oberon. That means that they're, you know, one, supporting Michigan, they're supporting Michigan beer. But two, they're, they're, they're trying something new. I mean, they're trying something that, that is maybe to them more adventurous. I mean, there's a lot more to it. Um, and so when people build up that palate for craft beer i mean it's it's basically after that once you've once you've discovered one or two then it's all exploration after that i mean um and that's what's nice about these beer festivals and things like that you know we see the people that come in from california or oregon or colorado or even next door in illinois um down south in indiana people come up here and they spend a weekend or they spend a week and they drink our products. They go back home and brag about them. They go online and brag about them. Um, you know, it's bringing a lot of money into the state. Um, it's it's also bringing in tourism, whether or not the the state government really sees that or the local government really sees that. Um, us on the front lines, we see that. Currently, Michigan is number five in the U.S. as far as uh, breweries, which I think is really cool. We're working towards something, and, um, you know, obviously there are some states that got a little bit of a head start on us. The West Coast is primarily what the, the, the brewing scene is in the U.S. as far as most people are concerned. But to see us in fifth place behind West Coast states, um, that really says a lot for what we're doing here and um, you know to see the top 100 beers on Beer Advocate, you know, and, and to see that well, Michigan's got maybe 10, 12, or 15 of those 100 beers, and to see you know something like the Great American Beer Festival in, in Colorado and Denver where we we came out with seven medals, that's saying a lot. So they say every documentary has to have a call to action. Well, here it is. Drink beer. But drink good beer. After all, it stimulates Michigan's economy. It encourages community. And well, it tastes good. Drink good beer. <laughs>